So now we're going to have a look at a pyramid question, okay? So this specific one is a pentagon-based pyramid, uh, but the same method can be used for any pyramid no matter what the shape. So we have a regular pentagon, the side length is 8 centimeters, so the bottom is a five-sided shape, and each of these sides here is 8 centimeters, and the slant, slant length is 10 centimeters. So that means from the middle of this line here to the top of the pyramid here is 10 centimeters. That's straight through the middle of the uh, triangle here on the side. So it's not any of these black lines, it's just the red line here, okay? So the black line is going to be a different length, they're going to be a little bit longer. And we need to find, so the surface area, so SA for surface area, and V the volume. And just one thing I'll say in an exam question, they wouldn't just ask you straight out for the surface area or the volume, they'd probably ask you a few little smaller questions first that lead you in the right direction, so a few kind of small hints uh, that'd make it a little bit easier. So anyway, I'll start off by looking for the surface area, so I'm just going to say, Part one here is going to be trying to get SA, the surface area, and the surface area is going to be equal to the area of the base plus the area of the five faces. So area of the five faces, so the area of the base here, that's going to be part of the surface area, and then each of these five triangular faces, that's also going to um, be some of the surface area. So the five faces are the easiest bit to get. So we have just a triangle here, and we'll go purple base is 8 centimeters and then the height from the bottom to the top is 10 centimeters bottom to top and then we know that the area of a triangle is equal to half times the base by multiplied by the perpendicular height so half by base by height so that means that the area of one of these is going to be half by the base which is 8 by 10 and that's going to give us 40 centimeters squared and there are five of these faces so I'm going to say just multiply it by 5, and then our answer for this bit is going to be 200 centimeters squared. So now all we have to do is find the area of the base, okay? So I'll draw a little pentagon out here for that. So we have our base here, so again, it doesn't have to be perfect. If we remember how to get the area of one of these, or how to break one of these up, it's that we can break them up into small uh, isosceles triangles. Again, this drawing is awful. Uh, but it doesn't matter, it's just about the idea. So, dot here. And we know that each of these sides is going to be 8 centimeters, okay? 8, 8, 8, and 8. And then also that we have a full circle in the middle, and we have five separate triangles. So in a full circle, we have 360 degrees, and since we have five triangles, if we divide 360 by 5, we're going to find how much, uh, um, like what the angle is in each one of these triangles here, what the top angle is, and that's going to be 72 degrees. Okay, so now we have a triangle, like the following one here, so I'll draw it out. We have a triangle, it's an isosceles triangle, we have 8 on the bottom, and we have 72 degrees here on the top. So we have to get the area of this, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm just going to start filling in different things I know about the triangle, and hopefully eventually uh, we can find the area. So we know that this is 72 degrees, and also since it's an isosceles triangle, that these two angles in the bottom are going to be the same. So if I say 180 minus 72, that'll give me 108 degrees. And if I divide that by 2, that's 108 degrees is the amount of degrees that are left. And each of these angles are going to take up that 108 degrees together. And they're both the same. So if we divide it by 2, we're going to get 54 degrees. And that's the amount, that's the angle that's in each of these small corners here, 54 and 54. Again, the drawing uh, isn't perfect at all. So from that, then we can say we have 8 on the bottom, 72 on the top, 54, 54. I'm going to draw another triangle, and it's just going to be half of the other triangle there. Okay, So I'm just going to draw a red line down, and I'm going to take this half of the triangle. So here we have 54, we have 4, we know that's going to cut it in half, uh, and that's all we know for now. But we can use trigonometry to try and find the other side. So the side I'm interested in is the height because the height will give us the area of the triangle. Um, and so we have angle 54 here, we have the opposite and we have the adjacent. So that means that tan of 54 is gonna be equal to opposite over adjacent, which is gonna give us h over four. So that means h is gonna be equal to tan multiplied, or sorry, four multiplied by tan 54. So that means that h is equal to 5.51 centimeters. 5.51 centimeters. Put a box around that. 
So now we have the base and we have the height of the triangle so we can find its area, okay? So we'll go green. I'm going to say the area again is half by h by b, so half of half by the height by the base, or whichever order you want to put it in. So that's going to be half multiplied by the height, which is 5.51, 5.51 multiplied by the base, which is going to be 8. And that's going to give us 22, 22.04 centimeters squared. So that's the area of just one of these little triangles here that I'm coloring in, in green up in this little pentagon. And obviously there are five triangles there we can see and they're all the picture doesn't uh, show it, but they're all the same. So that means if we multiply this by five, we can get our answer for the area of the base. And the area of the base works out to be 110.2 centimeters squared. So that means the total surface area, I'm going to do it in white. The total surface area is going to be 110.2 centimeters squared plus, so that's the area of the base, plus the area of the five faces, which is 200 centimeters squared, plus 200 centimeter squared so the total surface area is going to be 310.2 centimeter squared and put a box around that and that is the surface area of our pyramid so that's what you're going to do no matter what the shape of the pyramid is whatever what base it is you have to find the area of each of the faces and the area of the base so if it's kind of a big polygon you're going to have to use this method here to find the area of the base if it's a square or a triangle it could be a bit easier um, so yeah, that's just the first bit, how to get the surface area. And now we're going to have to look at getting the volume of this pentagon. So to continue this sum, I'm going to continue it over here. Keep going, so I see the gray. Perfect. Okay. Now just draw a line. That'll do. So we know we need to find the volume now. So I'm going to write volume here. Okay. So what's the volume of a pyramid? We know that the volume of any pyramid. So we'll say the volume pyramid is equal to one third volume pyramid is equal to one third by the base by the height so that's the uh, base area I'll just clarify that so again sorry for my writing so the volume of a pyramid is one third by the base by the height and that's something you need to learn off I think it is in the tables book but you definitely need to know it really really well so the base area we already know from the last bit of the question is going to be uh, 110.2 centimeters squared that's equal to the base area and now we need to find the height okay so that's the vertical height of the pyramid how high it is above the ground this is going to be a little bit difficult to picture so i have a little sketch of the pyramid here so it's a smaller version so again it's a pentagonal pyramid and i have just the little triangles drawn in from earlier okay so if you remember the triangles i drew on, drew on earlier so we could get the area of the base there are those triangles again we have the slant height as well so we need to find the vertical height which is the height from the spike from the top button all the way ooh, no, down to the center point here. Okay, so we need to find that height. And the way we're gonna do it is by making a triangle. So it's going to be the blue one here. It's gonna be this blue one here, which I'm just gonna put over the slant height. And then it's gonna be the blue line that connects them. Okay, so that blue line you might see is the height of the base triangle there. So again, this is quite hard to picture but you have to be able to kind of picture in your head that that little blue line I have there on the bottom that is the same as this H here because it cuts this triangle in the bottom down in half so that means if we go back up that we have a triangle here that I'm just gonna redraw so we're gonna have this this and this we have I'm gonna call this Y which is what we want Okay, we have our 5.51 from earlier, so 5.51 centimeters from earlier, and then we have 10 centimeters as well. So here, and then as well, this is going to be a right angle triangle because since that blue line there is a vertical line, we can just draw a right angle there. So again, this is probably the trickiest bit about the question, just being able to picture that there, and um, but just be able to picture that 3D triangle within the pyramid. Um, so then we're just going to do a quick Pythagoras for that. So that's going to be that 10 squared is equal to y squared plus 5.51 5 squared. That means y squared is going to be equal to the square root 
10 squared minus 5.51 squared. Pop that bad boy into your calculator. So that's to be just y is equal to the square root of that. Um, and then we will get an answer that y is equal to 8.35 centimeters. And so that means our volume is going to be one third by 110.2 multiplied by 8.35. And I'll do this in white. That our volume is going to be equal to one third multiplied by 110.2 multiplied by 8.35 and that means that V our volume is equal to 306.72 centimeters cubed. So remember centimeter cubed is always the unit for volume. So that was quite a long video. Uh, it was a little bit tricky. I think the trickiest bit was probably uh, this one here but hopefully the rest of it makes sense and hopefully the method that I took makes sense. That's the most important thing again is just go, taking the right method breaking up the tr this pentagon here into first the base and the five faces. You can get the area of this face easily enough. It's just the area for the uh, for a triangle. Then breaking up our pentagon into uh, little triangles, which you can watch in some of our previous videos if you're not so sure about it. Uh, so we go through that. Then getting the area of the base. And then lastly, getting the volume, uh, which is what I just showed. So again, I'll cut the video short here because it's been going on for a while. I hope you enjoyed the video. In the next video, we're going to look at more 3D problems. So again, these are the ones you really need to practice. They can be quite difficult, uh, but when you break them up into the simple shapes, they're not too difficult. So again, uh, I'll finish it here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the videos.